This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're with Trisha Turpinoff. I have caught up with her in her studio, yeah. where she captures some images of a lot of folks here um, locally in Littleton, as well as the surrounding Denver area. Let me ask you, Trish, first of all, what got you involved in capturing images? Wow, that's a good question. You know, I've been interested in photography since I was a little kid. My aunt and uncle actually bought me a camera when I was five. It just opened up the doors, and I took some interesting photos, and my parents said, wow, that's really interesting Trisha and I was like this must be this must be what I'm born to do in high school I was um, I took all the classes that I possibly could take in college I was the party pit girl and my degree is in photography and so from an early on you basically had an eye for photos have you done landscapes as well as it always been people I've done some landscape professionally I've always done people because people really are my specialty Wonderful. And you said a little bit of your formal training. Where did you get that? At University of Central Missouri. I was there for five years, I have to say. When I graduated from college, I went to work for a studio called Skinner Vaughn, and it was in Harrisonville, Missouri, which was about 30 minutes southeast of Kansas City. Working for Ed Vaughn, he was my favorite mentor. He was one of those types of people who wanted to help propel you forward. And so when he sold the studio, I stayed with the studio, and we were photographing about a 1,000 sessions a year. You got so some experience. <laughs> yeah, a ton of it. So it was a lot of fun. You've got 20-plus years that you're to the table here and you were around back when it wasn't digital but it was film <laughs> yes I was around when it was film definitely you know film is still a great medium it's just you have so much more control with digital for me I had to move into digital I know there's a lot of naturalists that stuck with film and it still does have a little bit more depth some people I know will challenge me there's so many cool things you can do with it and it's so much faster and you pretty much keep apprised of the technology and make sure you're on the cutting edge absolutely so I'm a member of the professional photographers of America and every year they have a convention, an international convention that's somewhere here in the States. So I go every year and they have a trade show and they have all kinds of different classes where there's just great learning. I think it's important to always go every year just because I find new products every year. I find new tips and tricks and just better ways to deal with my clients and make them more happy. Because of the fact that this is your studio out here, yes. what do you think gives the edge there to the client that comes out here to a beautiful place like this compared to being in a studio? My philosophy is life doesn't happen on a black background. So all of our clients clients come in and they sit down with me and the first question I'm going to ask them is what type of memory do you want to make here and so you know maybe their family picnics here or maybe they love their mountain home and so I think the edge that I have is that people are in locations that they love I know it's an always a win-win when you put someone in a location that they love and clothing they're comfortable in the saturated color out here has got to be amazing I noticed inside of your gallery we walked around and a lot of your images literally pop off the wall tell me about that striking color and how you're able to achieve that Yes. I shoot on manual. You'll see me when I photograph. I always have my meter around my neck, and I'm always making sure that we have the proper light balanced with the outdoor light. The colors really do get saturated because every time you have a proper exposure, you get a proper negative. And then, of course, we have an editing company called Vital Edit that we love. They're in California. We upload all of our images to them. They basically have a list of what we want and what we like, and so they make that happen for me. Wonderful. And speaking of the folks behind the scenes, do you have some folks here as far as your team? Yes, absolutely. I have Dave Wessling, who he comes out and assists me with the lighting, and he's just a good cheerleader for me. <laughs> Wonderful. Great. Now it's all about the client. Now it's all about that subject that's in front of you. And I know it's important to you that uh, they basically be themselves and have a fun time. How do you achieve that? Is that done beforehand? I do a consultation with everybody. That's what really changes everything because they know that this is a collaboration. If they want something, all they have to do is ask for it. If they don't have any ideas, I have more ideas than I do time. It all works out. It's just not tangible how I make people feel comfortable. I feel like I just have such an easy style with people and because I know my equipment so well, I understand lighting and posing and composition, everything just falls into place very easily so that I'm not fidgeting with my camera all the time. Obviously, I'm changing exposures when the light changes and such but it doesn't take me much time people just feel like we're family distinctly fun yes absolutely I'm here with the Bob Zeen family and they're gonna get ready to capture some basically images and uh, let me ask you guys you have worked with a photographer before what brings you guys back today just capturing memories last time we had a photo shoot of us three was about 10 years ago it's trying to relive it just the time doing it the time is well spent arranging it and I really wanted to make sure that I had this done before the kids all scatter. Even though we juggled to get it done, I'm really excited to be here tonight to have it done. The photographs capture them as a person in this special the whole event is, is a memory, not just the pictures. The 
consultation on the front end is very important. What about when these images come back and they're able to come inside of the gallery there, sit down with you, show them what they would look like on their wall? You, you bet. Absolutely. There is a process for everything in our studio, and that just makes everything so much easier for the client. So they have what's called an image presentation. So they'll come in with all their decision makers, and we sit down and we show them a cool slideshow, and then we edit down to their favorites, and we start talking about what do you want for the home? Do you want to put something on the wall? We have a lot of different products that are wonderful and new, and we have a cool metal piece that we call the metal masterpiece. And we have, of course, canvas and gallery wraps, and there's lots of different things that they can do. Even if a client's like, I just don't know where to put it, or here's the size of the wall, help me. That's what we're there for. Even if they're like, I want to put something on the wall, but I don't know where, then I'll go to their home and help them out. Sounds like you've gotten fun down to a science. Yes, definitely. Well, you know what? Being organized really makes your clients happy. You just follow all, all the policies that you put into place and, and let your clients know what they are and how this is going to go. Everything just falls into place so easily. Because of the fact that you want people to be themselves and kind of capture them being what they want to do, the seniors have to love you. Oh, yeah. That's one of my favorite things to photograph. I love people in general, but high school seniors are so fun because if they say, I want to go jump in the water or, <laughs> or I want to be photographed at my mountain home or I want you to trek into Alberta Falls at Rocky Mountain National Park, I say yes because it's exciting. This morning we were actually photographing a diver from Heritage at Pinehurst Country Club. It was the first time he'd ever dove off a board right there. What more special place could you be at than that spot? An absolute nonconformist. It was, totally. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's what we're all about. So we go to that real big day that a lot of people get photographed. We're talking about your wedding. How do weddings work? Is it best for them to give you a call and set up a consultation? Absolutely. Everything gets a consultation, even headshots. I think it's important for us to meet each other and make sure that we're a good fit. Even though I have a lot of fun and I'm good at what I do, I'm not for everybody. And so it's good to sit down and see what they're thinking in their mind if my style matches what's in their head. And I think that the other thing is for weddings especially, they need to want to to tell a story for them. If they just want a record of the day, I'm really not that photographer. Because I've photographed a few hundred weddings over my career, you know that during the toast, that's when people are going to cry or they're going to laugh. And so you just watch for all the moments that are going to be special and important. Folks, you got the information right there. The, at the bottom of the screen is her website. And basically, you contact Trisha right there, her contact information there as well. And as you can see, basically, this is her studio out here. That's why we felt it very important to take the trek up the road here and make sure we got to see her work and her environment and what she does. But she's got a beautiful gallery um, located right close to the downtown Littleton area. I'm sure you will feel at home there as you look through your images. Sit down with Trisha and consult with her. She will take care of you on that important day, be it your wedding but basically she'll also take care of you out here and make sure that day is important for you and put you in an environment that you are familiar with, comfortable with. But once again, if you need that headshot taken, family portrait taken, business shot taken, even your pet taken, yeah. she will take care of you and make sure that that image is captured for you forever. Not on film, but on digital film for yeah. those that have been doing it a while. And uh, she'll make sure that the essence of you is captured once again, this is Gary Atencia with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.